Hey guys, what's going on? This is Linus here with iOS Shelbrookson and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top 10 best Cydia tweaks of January 2014 part 2. A couple of days back I did make a video just like this and uh, if you haven't checked that out already be sure to check it out and find 10 more awesome Cydia tweaks. Alright guys, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so first up we do have live effects enabler and this tweak basically lets you enable the live photo filters or effects straight in your devices uh, that are not able to get this feature on iOS 7 by default. So that is the iPhone 4 and all the iPads, so the iPad Air, iPad 4, iPad 3, iPad 2 and the iPad minis. So if you don't have this feature already, be sure to install this tweak and you'll basically be able to select the filters straight from your camera app. Moving on to number 9, we do have Swipe Selection Pro and this is one of the must-have Cydia tweaks for any jailbreaker and anyone that uses their iDevice to type anything at all. This tweak basically makes your typing experience on iOS 7 a lot better than it previously was. So let me explain. So as you can see right now I am moving my cursor around just by swiping on my keyboard. I can select some of the text that's in there by using the shift key. I can also do that with the delete key right here. I can just turn off the tweak like so. And now we're just back to the old boring iOS 7 kind of magnifying glass that is really hard to use. And if I just try to show you swipe selection once more, as you can see it will not work obviously because I have it disabled. But I can just re-enable the tweak just by tapping the shift key three times. Alright, so number 8 we do have 5 icon dock. And the name pretty much says it all for this one. And as you can see I do have 5 icons on my dock. The tweak is really simple but if you just wanted to change the dock on your device, this is the perfect tweak to go to. So guys, next we have Multi Icon Mover Plus. This tweak is also very simple and basically it lets you select multiple apps on your home screen, go to another page, just hit your home button once, move multiple items without having to move them one by one. Next up we do have Blurred Music App and this one basically lets you blur your music app into the album art of the now playing song and as you can see I do have the 50 cent song playing right now and the background of my music player is the album artwork of the song and in my opinion this looks a lot nicer than the old iOS completely white user interface and I do really prefer this over the default. Alright next up we do have another really simple tweak but this one is also one of the essentials. It is called repower and once you hold your power button it will bring up the old slide to power off slider as well as the slide to reboot and slide to respring. The developer has really made this tweak look awesome and it just matches the way the slide to power off slider looks and being so simple like that it is still an awesome tweak as you know if you want to respring with this tweak you can do it with some style. Alright next up is switch spring and you can use this one to slide up on your home screen icon in the app switcher and you can basically either restart the springboard or you can quit all apps just by tapping on that and you can also hit cancel which is really nice and that just brings the old home screen screenshot back up. Alright guys, next up is Spectral and this tweak basically lets you use your album artwork in your lock screen instead of your actual wallpaper which I do reckon looks really nice. This tweak is similar to Blurred Music App but instead of using your album artwork inside the music app it does make it look really good on your lock screen. Alright guys, on number 2 we do have App Tray and this one basically lets you use a lot of different app shortcuts in your notification center and as you can see I do have quite a few apps in my App Tray right now. You can also use the slider in the settings app to change the opacity of any of the icons and as you can see it does take effect straight away you don't have to respring you can also label your app tray and basically call it anything and as you can see this does also take effect straight away no need to respring there as well this tweak is also really simple just like a lot of other tweaks shown in this video but i do really like it and i do think it's well worth the one dollar fifty that you're gonna be paying to get this tweak Alright guys, last but not least, I do have a Winterboard theme for you guys. Winterboard was updated a couple of days back as well. And the theme that I've got installed right now is called Clarity for iOS 7. And it does make your icons look really clear and it does make them stand out a lot more than, you know, the normal iOS 7 icons. And you could also say that it is my favorite Winterboard theme, at least right now. Alright guys, that basically wraps up my top 10 city at weeks of January 2014 part 2 of course. And I do plan on making these videos every month so just be sure to subscribe down below if you would like to see these every month and who knows I might even make another episode this month as well so guys be sure to give this video a thumbs up if I was able to help you at all and also be sure to share your thoughts down below in the comment section I do read them all so guys thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace